Hello internet, welcome back to the Rana verse. Aaron here with a brand new ROM hack that I want to play. And this time is going to be a little bit different. It is a Nintendo DS ROM hack, specifically Pokemon Moon Black 2. A ROM hack of Pokemon Black 2 to be specific. And yo, everything already looks super different here. I don't even know how they did it. But they did it somehow now. I don't know much about this game. Let's press start. I guess I don't know much about this game I didn't hear much about it I didn't read that much of the poke community post that will be in the description Of course if you want to download this for yourself, you will need a base ROM of Pokemon black too So uh, you need to go find that yourself, but regardless um, well Apparently this has gen 7 Pokemon and characters in it I do not know how they did that, and I do not know if anything up from the story is gonna change or whatever, but the screenshots did look really enticing, so let's just not dilly-daddle any further. Let's play the game. Cannot wait to see what this is like. Yo, Professor Kukui! Howdy! Welcome to Pokemon Moon Black 2 or Pokemon Sun White 2. I am using Moon Black. You might be seeing Professor Kukui, but this is... JR Fort and Aster speaking. So these are the ROM hack makers. Shout out to them. Damn, what Pokemon? Whoa! Is that Sil Valley? Damn. With the cry too. Okay. You probably know the basics of this hack. We're looking at new Pokemon, a more challenging game, and extra boosts to many weaker Pokemon among other features. Otherwise, there's not too much else to say. Hope you enjoy Unova in a whole new way. As usual, documentation is provided to detail every edited aspect of the game. Be sure to use it if necessary. Yeah, that I think that did come with the download description or like the download link. I did not actually read any of it. Maybe I will after this, but I want this to be as blind a playthrough as possible. I only hope that you enjoy the new style this hack makes, Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2 play. May it be an entertaining experience. I sure hope it will. Anyway, on with the game. Gender. Okay. Here we go. We have the uh, boy and girl characters from Sun and Moon as well. That is pretty darn fresh. I'm going to choose boy character. Because this is our first time playing it. And honestly, I haven't actually played Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon or pretty much any of the games past the Nintendo DS gen. Because, uh, well, <laughs> I'm too poor to actually own one. I've been po too poor to actually own one. I'm gonna... I'm gonna type my name right here. And I'm gonna use my mouse for once. Damn. Touchscreen. The DS. Amazing. So this is gonna be a fresh experience for me. I hope. So your name's Bodoy. That's good to know. Could you tell me a little about your friend from your past journey? Yo. Amazing. Gladian. You know what? That's his name. I'm just gonna keep it like that because why not? That's like his that's like his real name, right? Gladian, sure. Why not? Bodoy will shortly be given a Pokemon, but you can use whatever you like. Let's get right into it. You should know there are new trainers, so prefer, prepare prepare yeah, for a harder experience in Unova. Are we ready for this experience? Thank goodness this is this isn't a nuzlocke. I just want to play the game. Oh dear. Let's see. MB2 team. I don't know how they did it. Because, you know, DS ROM hacks are very few and far between. They even edited the uh, title text. But apparently the story here is that Alolan, Alola region characters from Pokemon Sun and Moon sort of moved to Unova or something. That's the lore. And apparently um, they're here in, I don't even remember the city, the name of the city. Aspersia? Anywho, let's get a look at our icon or something. So this is our default mom. So not much has changed there. Pretty much standard story here from Black 2. Why, Professor Kukui? It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Ooh, a Pokedex from my child? That's great. I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. Me too. She's already here. Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you've decided on something, you just start going. Alright, Bianca. Big green hat, got it. So Bianca's still here.
Now would be a good time to save your game, honey. True. Oh, wow, man. Let's just take a look at this. Our character over here. And let's go to options real quick. And let's set the tech speed to fast. No, no, no. What the hell? Fast. Alright. And then... Uh, save before I... Eh, everything else looks pretty much the same. And then why don't we just save as well. Nice, we can just uh, speed through that save. Always a good thing. Hello, mother. Do you know Professor Kukui? He's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, he's an old friend of mine and he called me today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, but Bodoy, do you want to have a Pokemon? Hell yes. Alright, step one completed. Do you know what a Pokedex is? Sure. Isn't it amazing how automatically records Pokemon you encounter? Yet an another question. I want a Pokedex. Okay. Step 2 completed. Your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca is here to meet you. She's Kukui's assistant. Uh, has a big green hat. You're gonna look for Bianca. And get a Pokedex. And a partner Pokemon. And a cross transceiver in my bag. Do I know how to open my bag? That's the question of the year. Yes. The girl's name is Bianca. I was told you should look for a big green hat. Yeah, You already told me this, Mom. You already told me. So I don't have running shoes yet, but seriously, look at this overworld sprite. That is sweet. Now, by the way, I think this is a fully completed game. Well, you know, Black 2 is a completed game in itself. They just, I think they already added everything to it. Oh, hey, Gladian. Got a Pokemon yet. There aren't many Pokemon trainers around here, and I'm getting bored. A person named Bianca is giving me a Pokemon. Huh. If you got a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it. I plan to. Yeah. Alright. Something I have to do. To do that, I need someone I can trust beside my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. Talking about you, you seem like you got good instincts. Okay. Let's go find Bianca. And you're gonna follow me around? Why not? I'm just gonna go straight to her. I think I already... I think none of the NPCs really change. Yeah. Are you different? That looks like a different sprite. I don't, I don't know how much has changed, honestly. I'm hoping it's a lot, though. Hello, what are you doing here? Welcome, welcome, I am the key bearer. Whoa, the keys I shall grant you, then off I shall go. The last key, it may appear odd, but fear not, for it works. What the hell? So I just got easy mode or something. Is that? I don't think that's there in the real game. Easy mode cannot be selected. Keys can be sent and received via infrared communications to unlock each other's lock settings. Interesting. Okay. I see how it is. Ah, there's also challenge mode. So, in either versions, they give you both easy and challenge mode. I think pretty good if you want to restart, restart this game right now and play on an easier mode. I'm just going to go normal mode because, um, well, I think that's just how the game was meant to be played. You know what I mean? Sure, sure, sure. Hello, how many? My god. That's a lot. I'm going to speed through this, I think. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> so that was Black Hollow Key as well. So this gave us all those keys. So we can pretty much just restart the game right now. If we wanted to. That's fine though. We'll stay like this. Oh, I get it. The Outlook is Asperger's most famous spot. Yes, let's get my Pokemon already. And this is something I will continue. I will always be impressed by... The, the fact they managed to do this scene in a DS Pokemon game is amazing. <laughs> hey there! What is up, Bianca? I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Bodoy? Uh, not really. He doesn't ring a bell. Oh, wait, you are Bodoy. Really? I didn't know that. You're exactly like what I heard. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? If that means I get a partner Pokemon, then hell yes. Your support will help Kukui's research move forward. Alright. When are you giving me the Pokemon? Okay then. Ta-da! I had to click A again. In here is the Pokemon that will be your partner. Oh, uh, buddy buddy. Here we go. 
we have the Gen 7 starters. There's Litten, there's Rowlet, and then there's Pop Leo. I have not actually played Gen 7 at all. So I do not know which one of these is going to be the better option for me. Decidueye seems like a really cool Pokemon and I think... But it's not really a flying type though. Can I learn fly? I don't think so. It's grass dark, I think. And Litten is just a pure fire type and then water fairy. If I evolve Popplio into a pre-marina, that's going to be a hard decision for me. Any single one of these is going to be a new experience, so I do not know which one to pick. Goodness gracious, uh, it's going to take a little while. I might just cut the video to when I actually choose Pokemon that I want. Shoot. Uh... Now I know what, I'm going to try Litten. I'm going to go for Litten. Because why not? I'll choose the cat today. Hey yo, I will give you a nickname, I guess. I don't know what to name a Litten though. <clears throat> uh, why not just? Sure, I'll go for Lawrence. <laughs> You're a guy, Lawrence. Sure, such a great name, don't you think? Now you've got your Pokemon. I'll give this to. There we go. Pokedex. It's the Unova one, but let's just pretend that is the Alola one. Pokedex is a high-tech device. Yada, yada, yada. I know. All this stuff. Still, that Professor Kukui, the normal thing to do is to get an okay. Yeah. Oh, so I can move now? Let me check real quick. My Litten. What's going on with him? It is naughty nature. Plus attack. Minus special defense. Is that it? Honestly, I'm okay with that. I am honestly okay with that. I think that's a good nature for Lawrence or for Litten in general. So that should be okay then. Hello, Gladian. Hey, how long are you planning on keeping me waiting? Yo. That's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. It's a Pokedex. Uh-huh. It's true. Please give me a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon that'll make me tougher. Well, you have Gladion's uh, overworld sprite, but you still have Hugh's personality. I'm going to travel the Unova region with my Pokemon partner to search for something very important. I'm guessing that's... Uh... Wait, is Team Plasma still in this game or is that replaced by the... Uh... The guys over from the baddies from Gen 7. I forgot what they were called. The one with Guzma. So, I think this is just default text. Hello? Oh. Uh oh, battle time, I guess. Here comes the music. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Populo, Pop Leo, that I always wanted. Alright. First battle of the game versus Gladion. Let's see what this is like. Damn, that looks pretty sick. It has an animation and all. It's ridiculous. Alright. Pop Leo. Let's bring out Litten. We have a type disadvantage, but we have Intimidate? So we don't have Blaze? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. If I have Ember, that means this guy has a water type move too. Double up. Oh. I think I'm going to lose this one. Unless he just keeps using Pound. I won't forget the pain. You even just made my partner go through. Interesting. So he's not gonna go for any water gun. I'm assuming he doesn't have water gun then? Because that's weird. I already have Ember. What on earth? Or just, is his AI just awful? So I just fainted him. I thought I was gonna lose that battle. As a testament to how hard this game is gonna be. But I guess not. Alright. Leveled up. Almost level 7 too. Shoot. I could not achieve victory for my partner. Oh well. That's sad. I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Alright. He's gonna head off. It looks like we will too, hopefully. Pokemon on both sides did their best, but the little one is still weak, so battle with it and make it stronger. 
Okay, so here's the tutorial part of Moon Black 2, or Black 2 in general, which I feel is going to take a long time because apparently in this game they just babied you so many scripts, so many times where they walk you through so many different things that you already know about. So I think I'm just going to speed through this. Uh huh. Quick heal. And uh. It's a really good thing that you can speed up on Desmond May. I usually. I thought before that you couldn't, but apparently you press shift to do it instead of spacebar, which is very convenient on VBA. Anywho. Wait, what'd she give me? Pokeballs? Yeah, she gave me 30 Pokeballs. That's ridiculous. <laughs> It's amazing. I thought they just give you 20 in the main game, but apparently here it's, my goodness, a lot more. I will buy f five potions. I think they're going to give me potions after, but I'll just buy some just in case. I still don't have running shoes either. Oh, it's uh, the professor, I guess. No, it's mom. I mean, sorry. Nice to meet you. You must be Bianca and Bodoy picked Litten. Looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Running shoes. Right. On. I actually jinxed that, which is good. Alright, hold B. Yes. I think it's really cool that there's like a B button on the running shoes on themselves. That'd be cool to think about. Got town map too. I don't think anything has really changed at map wise. I'll give the other one to Gladian, alright. So nothing really changed in the map, this is still pretty much the Unif region, it's just Pokemon are different I guess. And she's gonna teach me how to catch Pokemon. That's all good and well. Bon voyage, take Litten and go see many different Pokemon and people with your own eyes. I'm gonna go now. Got running shoes, hell yeah. <clears throat> Looks like I can run out I guess. Ah. I don't think anything's... Can we go talk to the locals? Should we go talk to the locals? God, I wish sh um, speed up button was on the space bar. Can I program it to be on the space bar? I don't know. I'll check that for next episode. Power of science is amazing. Alright. Is there anyone that gives me anything here? Running indoors. Here we go. Uh-huh. Nothing really here. And I bet there's no one upstairs. Oh, there's a little kid upstairs. Do you give me anything? No. Pokeballs were invented. We can take it. No, you don't give me anything either. Just one last perusal before we go to the next route. What about the other houses? There are so many houses here. Just want to see if they give me anything. Because I can't honestly remember if uh, what, the, what the items were... In this game. And I don't even know if they added some items too. Because that can be a possibility. Damn, this is Gladian's room. That's ridiculous. And it's a really cool map. That you have there. It's huge. I wish I was this rich. Okay. So I guess in this game, our rival is the rich person. Because he has the house with the two floors. Meanwhile, we have the bungalow. I like bungalows though. So much easier to clean. Let's see, what other houses are there? What other people? Come on, talk to me, buddy. No, nothing here. Nothing here either. So I can't go to the gym yet. What about this house? I wonder if everyone... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nothing really important there. Haven't battled your Pokemon, so you're still weak. Good, good. You don't have any Pokeballs. Yeah, that sucks. I'm trying to... Oh, I'll give you something I always use. Ah, come on, buddy. You misplaced it? Shoot. That's fine, though. Alright, so I think that's all there is to this town. Let's just... Go. Takes a really long while to load up the cities. Hey, Bodo, you can't go with that. Oh! You're with Litten. This is a going away gift. Don't be shy. Yo, he just gives me the bike right away. That's amazing. Poke ride? Hello? Poke ride certainly makes it much easier to get around the region. Oh, I think this is a feature in the game. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's different. Oh, there's a Mega Stones box here. The hell? That's sweet. Key items. I will check the Poke ride, I guess. 
it's really cool that you can you can um, register so many different items at once so if you press select you can just choose whatever whichever I'll try the pokey ride yo look at that that's a go goat that is actually really sweet yeah I saw this in the uh, screenshots too but that is amazing oh gosh I'm gonna ride him cowboy all right oh shoot I didn't mean to do that okay anyway let's have a view of the town map looks the exact same let's get off the poker ride I guess all right and let's just properly play this game route one coming up pokedex pages fill up automatically when you meet pokemon blah 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 I know this and you're gonna catch what pokemon is it gonna be is it gonna be a gen 7 one no nah, it's gonna be a purloin oh well Lillipop. Nothing changed over here. Let's just uh, speed this up. And uh, you have 30 Pokeballs as well. That reminds me of Gen 4 when I saw the Pokemon catching tutorial of Dawn. And she she had 20 Pokeballs and she only gives 5. That was, that was awful. Anyway. Good catch, Bianca. You now you have a Purloin. Alright, alright, alright. I know this. I know this. Continue straight to Flockessy Town. Blah, 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 blah. And she's gonna head right back. And now we're free. Can we catch a Pokemon here? Do we find something that we like? I'm gonna go check it out. What do we find here? Whoa, yeah! A Fletchling! And it has like a Gen 5 movement. That's really cool. Unfortunately, we do already have a fire type, so. We're not going to use this one. We're going to run away from it, I guess. Maybe let's find something else that's cool. I think I shouldn't have used Litten. It would have been cool to maybe go for Pop Leo then, if that's the case. I kind of want a Fletchling, but... You know, Talonflame is really cool, but I already have a Fire type, see? I don't want, like, two Fire types in my team. Sentret? Why would there be a Sentret? Goodness gracious, why would you add a Sentret in this game? Anywho, so it's not just Gen 7. There's like so many Pokemon. So many Pokemon from like different regions. From different gens. More Fletchlings. And then... Uh, let's just get away from those. I would honestly love to catch those. Damn, I think I really should... I guess I should have chosen Pop Leo then. Oh well. Sentrits. Are there just Sentrits and... Fletchlings in this route. Kind of want to find something else that's cool. <coughs> no, but ledge jumping, sure. Oh, I guess you would, you would know when you can jump off the ledges. Yeah, like that. Okay. You know what? I'm searching for Pokemon in the tall grass. That's right. If you don't want to meet Pokemon, avoid tall grass. Literally can't in this situation. But all right. Whoa, a Lolan Rattata. We're catching that one. Come to me, little boy. Intimidate, let's speed through that. And then, uh, do we kill you? Do we not? Hopefully we don't kill you with an ember. Alright, that's a crit too. Shoot! We're looking mighty fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, 30 Pokeballs. Surely one of them will catch. Come on. One, two, three. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We have a... A Lolan Rotata. I don't know if this guy's gonna be good, but I know that it's a dark type. Yeah, dark normal. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna give you a name. What shall it be? Uh... You're gonna be Russell, because why not? Hello, Russell. Welcome to the team. Let's check you out real quick. It's a modest nature. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that's actually the worst. I think that's the worst um, nature you can have. Plus special attack, minus attack. Oh dear. Having my second thoughts. Good thing we only used up one Pokeball. That is alright. Let's progress through, I guess. You there, trainer! My name is Alder. I'm a trainer with a keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk towards the future together with Pokemon. Alrighty. 
Looks like we got Champion Alder talking to us, and he's groping us. Hello. Litten is a fine looking Pokemon, but you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. Sure, why not? We're gonna head over to Flockessie Town. I'm gonna heal just a little bit. Sorry, Alder. Just need a little bit of a healing. Gosh, it's hard. It's really hard when the uh, speed up button's on, t on tab, not spacebar. Hoping I can uh, switch that out. Anyway. Oh, right. Bodoi, are your Pokemon well? Are your Pokemon always doing the best for you? The trainer, so you always must be kind to them. My house is just a little bit further away. I already stopped by the Pokemon Center, but I guess we'll just explore this town for a little bit. I always save a record of my adventure, so I don't forget what I've done so far. You are actually right, my dude. I will save right now. And I have the beauty of the speed up bar. Alright. Let's explore this town a little bit. On a sunny day, my Petrat's fur gets all fluffy, blah blah huh. I'm just here to see if you guys give me anything. What about you, old man? A potion? Good stuff. Thank you for that. Bags sure are cool. Oh hell yeah, dude. I love bags. And so did our ancestors, who had way too much stuff to carry around. Anything else over here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Type matchups. I'm such a Pokemon no, again. Homestay Ranch used to be a grassy meadow. Play people. I hope the ranch has cool Pokemon. I cannot wait to go to the ranch. We're gonna do that in the next episode though. Because we've done too much in this episode already. Pokemon come to wake me up when they're hungry. My Pokemon get tired from playing and take up the whole bed. Oh. Huh. What else is here? People always think past or the future would be so wonderful, but the great time we're spending with Pokemon is right now. The future is now. Are you happy to train your Pokemon? Sure. Uh-huh. What is this? It's an old clock tower. Huh. Want to know what Alder taught me? Sure. Pokemon you throw out at the start of the battle is the one in the upper left slot of your party. <clears throat> that's why I put a Pokemon I want to make stronger. Or a Pokemon that's already tough in that spot. True. Alright. That's basics. That's basics. Shall we start the training? What? Why are you holding two town maps? Ah, right, yeah. It's your friend's town map. Your friend is the one with the Poplio. Just so happens he was training his Pokemon on Route 20. That's the case, you should go give him the town map first. Let's just go do that. Goes to Route 20. <clears throat> go to the right side, I guess. Let's talk to some more people. By the way, I don't know. Oh, Rockruff Ranch. What? I'm going to catch a Rockruff, that's for sure. I love Lycan Rock. Alright, there's going to be trainers here, though. That's fine. I don't know if you heard that outside, but someone's cooking, so it's sizzling outside. Let's go have our first battle. This is a different looking trainer. Ooh, we have the Alolan youngsters too. That is mighty sweet. You have a young goose. Gosh, there's so many new Pokemon I want to catch. Just need to check out their stats first to see if it's worth it. So we find young goose here, I guess. We're gonna Embryo. Start off with that. You're already level 6 too, shoot. That is actually scary. Mighty scary. I'm gonna tackle maybe because I have a higher attack stat. Eh, pretty much the same. No crit, please. Alright. Goodness gracious. Thank goodness we bought so many potions. These are pretty high levels if I do say so myself. I think I should have grinded it a little bit more. It's fine though. They're literally the first trainer. Level 8 now. Alright, I'll take it. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah. 18 attack and 14 special attack, so we're gonna benefit from physical moves, physical fire type moves. Ooh, you're gonna sound out an Alolan Rotata, I'm guessing. <clears throat> yep, yep. Pretty good stuff. I don't know if we're outspeed you though. Level 5? Okay. We get stabbed from Ember though. I don't know, let's just try Ember another time. Let's see if this works. Ah. Uh... Oof. Getting pretty low health. I'm scared. We're gonna potion. <clears throat> First trainer. Oh no, we're, we're already using a potion. Goodness gracious. Tail whip. Uh oh. <clears throat> Let's take you out real quick. Come on. Oh, nice. Alright. Almost level 9, too. <clears throat> 80, $80 for that. Sorry about that. There's phlegm everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. 
How many more trainers? I want to get to the grass. I want to catch a new Pokemon. <clears throat> Let's take you on. Trainer number two. You have three Pokemon. Uh-oh. Please be low leveled. Level five. I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> intimidate is always good. I love Intimidate. Um, Let's tackle. Whoa, my god. Okay, that was a crit. Thank you, Lawrence. <laughs> Level 9 now, I'm guessing? Alright. Alright. Uh, plus 2 attack. I may be one of the very few people who actually pay attention to the level up stats. Alright. Pidgey is next. I'm gonna stay in. I'm not actually gonna use uh, my Rattata. Because of... <laughs> Solely because of its nature. It's awful. One more tackle. Alright, that's a two shot. Hell yeah. One more. So I don't really know the move pool of a Litten either. When do we learn something like Flame Charge? That would be sweet to have. Or Fire Punch or something like that. Yo, that was uh, Starly's Sprite, right? Oh, Sp Sp Starly's Cry. Not Fletchling, so I guess they didn't really edit Cries yet. That's alright though. I really don't care. Yeah. That is definitely Starly's Cry. One more tackle should kill you though, even with the minus one attack, because uh, we're pretty balling right now. Lawrence just taking over everyone. <clears throat> Love these sprites. Love these Pokemon. Paralyzed heal, always a good thing. I'm not gonna battle that trainer yet because we need I wanna find some Pokemon to catch. Cause I wanna catch them all. Well, you know, a lot of them. Young Goose, that would be cool to add to my team. Do you need HM still in this game? I can't remember. Maybe we'll keep around an HM slave if we need to. Ember real quick to not kill you. I'm not really gonna use you or anything. I'm just I'm just gonna catch you or something. Tackle. I hope this doesn't kill. Oh, that was so close. Alright. You've leered me twice and now I'm scared of you. I need to catch you pronto. Let's go. Pokeballs. 29 left. That is incredible. They give you so many items at the start of this game. It's really good. Really good for me. And you are mine now. Hello, young goose. Welcome to the team. You're a normal type, aren't you? Yep. It will eat anything. It prefers fresh living things. It marches down streets in search of prey. Jesus. It's based off a of mongoose, right? Shoot. Ah, uh, okay. I have a name that I just I just thought of for you. Wait. If I can spell it right. You are Monroe, the young goose. What else can we find up here? I'll check the stats later. I want to find some other Pokémon. C dot. Uh, no. I mean, Nuzleaf, Shiftry, pretty good Pokemon, but it's gonna be a pain to train C dot at this at the time right now. I'll give, I'll kill you for experience though. Why not? Harden. Exactly. Exactly why I don't use C dot. Also, um, to evolve Nuzleaf into Shiftry, you need like a a stone, right? A leaf stone? Is that? Is that the one? So it'll not learn any moves anymore. Oof. That's fine though. What other Pokemon can we find? Speed up a little bit. Young Goose again. Nah, that's fine. Now run, run, run away from you. Find some more. We'll continue this. We'll continue this route in this next episode. Honestly, I just want to catch some more Pokemon. Ralts. Oh, it's male though. I can evolve into a Gallade if I wanted to. Hell yeah. You have Trace. Interesting. Oh, come on. You're gonna intimidate me too. Okay. Uh, we're gonna shift F1. Save to one slot. So we don't kill this thing. Alright. You have Confusion right off the bat. Really good too. That is useful for me. I'll use a Ralts. Why the hell not? I know I'm supposed to use like Gen 7 Pokemon, but I don't know. Having a Psychic type in my team is something I've always wanted, and apparently there aren't really that many Psychic types yet. 
So I'm going to catch this one. And next episode, I'm absolutely going to catch a Rockruff. That's something cool to add to my team. Feeling Pokemon. The feels. I'm going to nickname you. You're a male Ralts. I really wish you were female. Kind of want a Gardevoir, but you know what? Uh, Gallade isn't too bad either. I just need to give you like an Everstone or something so we can find something like a Dawnstone this game in the future. I don't know where to find that, but hopefully not too far off. What do we name you? Uh, I want to be a Gallade, so... I don't know. Maybe something like... Graham. Honestly, male Gardevoirs should not exist. I, it's just so awkward to have a male Gardevoir. I wish Ralts were primarily female, you know? It's really weird to see a male, male Ralts. Male Curlia, even. I know that 2020, 2020 is a time of acceptance, but just it's just off for me, you know? Anywho, let's end this episode by uh, checking out the stats of these Pokemons. Hopefully we got a we got a good nature on a Ralts. If not, I might just have to go back and catch a different one. Impish. Minus special attack. Oof. I'll need to catch another one. Alright. Young Goose though, plus attack. That's actually okay. And yeah, this is our bad Russell. Good Monroe. And now we're actually pretty good Lawrence. So um that's our team. I think I'll catch another Ralts off screen and replace Graham with that one. But regardless, um, if you're enjoying this, if you're enjoying this game and want to see more of it, leave a like and subscribe. That'll really help me out. And I will see you very shortly in the next one. So bye bye, everyone.